Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg Sykes. Thank you for joining us in this video here. Uh, we are going to talk about some injuries that went on in Game 1 of the 2022 season. Uh, we did have a few injuries. Uh, mostly, we're going to talk about Fedorian Mathis. Unfortunately, we lost him for the season, uh, torn meniscus. He's going to require a season-ending injury, uh, or season-ending surgery, I should say. Um, so... That is unfortunate as we read uh, the Washington Post article. It just goes on to say that uh, we uh, lost the tackle of Dorian Mathis. Tore. He tore the meniscus in his left knee Sunday. will undergo season-ending surgery. Um, the losses blow to the commander's line and to the start of a promising career for Mathis. Uh, the Washington Post is always... You know, there are going to be negative dances when it comes to this team. They, historically, they have been. Um, yes, it, it is a negative start to a career, but you know what? I mean, it is it is what it is, right? Um, it's tough whenever you have a young guy like that go down so early in the season, said Jonathan Allen. It's unfortunate, uh, but we're going to be fine. We've been through this before. We have players who are going to step up and play well. I feel bad for him having to go out so early in his career. You know, the good thing, if you look on the positive side of this, is the fact that, um, you know, this is early, right? So this isn't anything to where, um, you know, he's getting into the groove of things and, you know, or it's late in the season and we're making a playoff push and then he tears his meniscus and he's out. You know, maybe he misses the next season as well. So, you know, at least it's early in the season. Uh, hopefully he will be back 100% next season. Uh, that will be the, the good thing for us because, you know, you don't know about Deron Payne. Um, you know, is he going to be back with this next season? I hope so. Uh, but, you know, I think he was kind of drafted to be Payne's replacement. So it, it is unfortunate, but... You know, at the same time, the defensive line is the strong point of this team. So, having said that, there are, like Jonathan Allen said, there are other players who will step up and, you know, have have had to step up. Um, so, there are some guys in rotation. And I think that the defensive line will be just fine moving forward. Um, other injuries, uh, speaking of Jonathan Allen, Jonathan Allen had gotten hurt as well. Uh, however, it's a growing injury. Uh, he did have an MRI just to be precautious, but um, er everything, you know, things, I guess what I'm trying to say is um, all things concerned, he's fine. He should be out there in the next game against Detroit, so I don't see any issues with that. Um, it, it's just it, it's a good thing that he didn't get hurt even worse. When I saw Allen go down, I'm like, oh, oh, great. You know, it's one thing to lose Dorian Mathis, uh, which is already you know going to be kind of like your rotation guy, but it's another thing to actually lose someone like Jonathan Allen who's obviously going to be uh, one of your better uh, linemen there going in and made several sacks and pressures um, on Trevor Lawrence. And, you know, he's going to be one of the guys who's going to be putting a lot of pressure on the quarterback. So um, hopefully that's not going to hinder his uh, playing abilities and his mobility in general. Um, but, you know, we'll have to see how the injury is going to work out with uh, John Allen. It may slow him down a little bit, but hopefully he'll be fine uh, come next Sunday. Um, you know, other than that, uh, it looks like Cameron Curl hopefully will be back uh, with us next Sunday. Um, but I will say Derek Forrest did a heck of a job uh, in his place. Um, had the game ceiling interception, had that monster hit um i mean he he really laid it out there i think there's a place for him you know 
if we can move him into a starting safety position somewhere, um, he should be out there with Cameron Curl, in my opinion. So, um, yeah, so, but Cameron Curl should be back out there. Um, we'll, we'll wait and see how things goes. Uh, we had some linemen to go down as well. That's, that's unfortunate. Um, hopefully that our linemen will be healthy, uh, our offensive linemen, I should clarify that. Um, anyway, that's your report on injuries so far. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Um, and yeah, hey, let, let's still let's still wallow in this victory. Let, let's just uh, soak it all in and support this channel, please. Let's support this channel. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell, folks. You got to hit the notification bell because you're not getting notified or you're just not watching the videos, and that's unfortunate as well. Um, you can support me in other ways as well, um, like this. Can't seem to get out. But something deep inside.